The false killer whale is a fast and agile swimmer, a peak predator, and a highly intelligent and social animal. The name obviously arises from the similarities between orcas and false killer whales. Until 1862, early taxonomists classified both species within the same genus. Despite the name, this species is sometimes mistaken for the bottlenosed dolphin or short-finned pilot whale. It is now under threat in certain parts of its range. The false killer whale is a highly social species that forms pods of up to 500 members, some of which can include oceanic dolphins. These pods sometimes break up into smaller groups of around 10 to 30 while hunting. The false killer whale has a diverse range of vocalizations that include whistles, squeals, and a pulsating noise. Although it is not entirely clear what they're saying, this species has so many different sounds at its disposal that experts have suggested it must be a complex form of communication. It is far more diverse, say, than human sounds. One of the more amazing facts of its intelligence is that the false killer whale will ride in the wake of a ship for extra speed and actually leap out over the wake. Very few other animals make this leaping motion in a ship's wake. Large numbers of false killer whales will sometimes become accidentally stranded on beaches, possibly while hunting for food. This can make for a very grim spectacle. The false killer whale will sometimes snatch food right out of fishing lines. However, it has also been known to offer food to divers. These animals actually looks a bit like a cross between a dolphin, with its rather sleek, ergonomic body, and a killer whale, because of the rounded head with no beak. Nevertheless, you probably wouldn't mistake them for an orca, the false killer whale has a much smaller dorsal fin and a distinct curved hump on the flippers. And instead of the black and white coloration of the orca, the false killer whale has a black or dark gray coloration with a streak of white along the side. This makes it look more like an oceanic dolphin. The male of this species measures up to 20 feet long and 3,000 or 4,000 pounds in weight while the female measures a slightly less formidable 16 feet. This is around the size of a pickup truck. These animals have a truly massive territory that graces every continent except for Antarctica. Due to its preference for temperate and warm tropical waters, this species has a natural range that extends around the coasts of Africa, India, the Pacific Asia region, including Australia and New Zealand, the American Pacific coast as far as Hawaii, the Caribbean Sea, and the Mediterranean. It has also been found as far north as the North Sea around Britain and Norway, China and Japan, Pacific Canada, and Alaska. They typically dive to around 2,000 feet in search of food, but as a mammal it must come up occasionally for air. Exact population figures are unknown, but local populations in the low tens of thousands have been observed in certain regions such as China and Japan. Despite its wide range, this species is actually near threatened. The biggest threats to its survival are the depletion of prey, injury or death from net entanglements, and environmental pollution. Even though the United States has banned many harmful chemicals, pollution can still travel the world's currents from other regions. Since this species occupies the top of the food chain, it is exposed to toxins that accumulate at lower levels. Like many dolphins, these animals feed almost exclusively on fish, squid, and to a lesser extent marine mammals like seals and sea lions. Some of the most common fish prey include yellowfin tuna, perch, salmon, and yellowtail. The false killer whale will attack prey by catching them in its mouth as it swims around at high speeds. It will then shake the prey to death and peel off the skin with its sharp teeth. The false killer whale has few natural predators in the wild apart from maybe sharks and other killer whales, 
But calves are mostly defenseless and much more prone to attack. They rely on the protection of their mother and the entire group. Humans do sometimes hunt false killer whales but not in particularly large numbers or on an industrial scale. Like many other cetaceans, the false killer whale has a rather complex reproductive cycle that involves long maturation and development times. The breeding season lasts all year long but seems to peak in later winter or early spring, during which time both males and females will have multiple mating partners. After copulation, the female undertakes a long and difficult pregnancy that lasts up to 16 months. It's no surprise then that she only produces a single calf at a time and does not conceive again for around seven years. The young calf emerges from the womb with the ability to swim on its own. However, it will stay with its mother for up to two years while it receives protection, tutelage, nutrients from the milk, and valuable survival skills. It takes around 8 to 11 years for females to mature and 8 to 10 years for males. This development time sets them up for a long and successful life, usually lasting around 60 years in the wild. Females begin to experience menopause between 44 and 55 years of age.